two girls. Say hi. I'm getting ready to do my video. Pearl. 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 Give us a face. Yes. And there's Maisie. Yes. Maisie's here for a cuddle. She wants a cuddle. She doesn't care if she's on the video. She just wants a cuddle. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you? Yes, you do. I have my camera backwards. Oh, well. I think it'll still work. Right. All right. Now. Oops. That's what I look at when I'm doing my video. I'm late today. Hi. This is Barbara. It is Sunday, the whatever, 19th, I think, maybe. My neighbor's banging on something, so he seems to have just started that. I apologize. I forgot to talk about my earrings yesterday. I think I did it in my first, my first video rather than my second one, which is the one I put up. They were uh, disc beads that I had made earrings out of, and I had copper wire, ear wires on those. And my good ear started hurting. These are cute. I don't know if you can see these close up. There's our sheep. I got those in at Rhinebeck last year. When I wasn't buying yarn, so I was buying everything else. I bought, I bought gin, I bought earrings, I bought all kinds of stuff. I'm a little sad about that now. <laughs> oh, it's windy. Yay. Oh, and the wind is coming from that direction. Interesting. Oh, well. Now, it's good it's windy because I am out here two hours later than usual. And uh, it's pretty warm. It's going to be a warm day, as predicted. So it's Sunday. We were going to go visit Dennis's parents today <laughs> we were gonna go visit Dennis's parents today I notice I do this I fix the camera and when I'm in editing I look at it and I'm like you know what it didn't change anything <laughs> I don't know why I do that I fuss with it but I do sorry we were gonna visit Dennis's parents tonight and maybe play some cards and you know give his mother some company but it turns out so we talked, called her this morning and said we were thinking of coming. Oh yeah, come tonight, come tonight. Kim's coming today. I'm like, well, if Kim's coming today, she's going to spend the afternoon. She'll go in the early evening. I mean, not that I don't want to see Kim. I'm happy to see Kim, but spread out the visits. You're the one going crazy because you don't have people visiting. So spend a day with Kim and we'll come tomorrow night. And then you'll have two days with company. She's so funny. But, but I have your cheese. She went, went to a Amish market and bought us cheese. I'm like, Unless, it's not going to go bad. Are you going to eat it? She said, no. I said, then it's okay. We can get it tomorrow. It'll give Dennis more time to do some cooking for her, and we'll bring her bring her some. He's going to make her pepper steak, and she he makes a keto peanut butter fudge that she loves. I mean, and she really rations it. He ha it, he hasn't made it for quite a while, and so she just you know allows herself one small piece a day. I I don't know how she has the willpower, but she does so much better than I would in the situation she's in. Because my father-in-law eats carbs like crazy. He has cookies. He has everything. You know, I'll be like, I couldn't do it. I don't have the willpower. I could do it for a while, but eventually, it really helps me that Dennis and I are doing this together. Completely makes it possible for me, besides the fact that he's the cook. And Maisie's over there working on a branch, trying, trying to turn it into a stick. So that helps me a lot. And he makes bratwurst. I had bratwurst for dinner last night. It was delicious as it has been every time I've eaten it. That was my special request. So, I'm feeling better today. I worked on straightening up and cleaning and I did some dusting. I haven't dusted in, I, I'm not even gonna try to guess, but it's an embarrassing amount of time based on the dust. And so I worked on the living room, I cleared the table and it made me feel a lot better having that cleared. I did not craft yesterday. I don't think I, I don't think I knit anything. 
I might have knit a little bit on my sleeves, but not very much. I thought about knitting. Um, but my brother called me, and my sister called me. So I talked to two of my three siblings. And that was good. I had texted my niece to ask her what color she wanted, and we ended up having a little conversation, and I told her about my niece, and my brother says, oh, Ella tells me your knee hurts. I'm like, yeah. And my knee is clicking today and giving me twinges today. I'm so annoyed with it. I'm wearing my sneakers, having my cream so I can take my pill. I did not have my third round of pills yesterday. It's really hard to take pills on a you know with food when you're only eating food for a three hour window in your day I'm counting cream as food I have to take my other pills immediately when I start eating and then I have to take my third set before my stomach is empty <laughs> I have to I have to work I could have food three times a day and maybe I should just do that I don't know but anyway, I forgot to take my third set of pills yesterday until it was kind of too late. Because I was getting ready for bed and I'm like, I am not. I can't eat right before I go to bed. I have trouble sleeping. <coughs> and I was, um, I went and I read, I read, I played, I played EverQuest with Dennis and I read a book. I read The Vampire Knitting Club. That was one of the the um, book book club books from the Crafty Toad. It was cute. It was a quick read, cozy novel. But it was cute. Apparently there are quite a few of them, but I guess I need to see if I can get them in the library. I actually bought that one. They often sell the first book in a series on Kindle really reasonably priced, and then the prices for the other ones are higher. So I bought this at one point and I hadn't read it yet so I read it now. My teeth are looking yellow again. <coughs> Need to check out the toothpaste section of the store although since I'm I am not wandering around in the store I am like beelining I'm making a list I'm beelining exactly what I need get out of there so I need to put toothpaste on the list I guess. I thought it looked like there's something on my tooth and I don't know how that could be because I just brushed them. So anyway, my glasses are dirty. So I was reading yesterday, playing some EverQuest with Dennis. That was fun. Straightening up in the house, which, you know, I come down and, and it's straighter and it feels good. And it, the, the problem with dusting, though, is it gets dusty again so quick. Dennis is blaming the Sahara. You know, we're getting all that dust from the Sahara. I got, I'm dust, I'm getting Sahara out of my living room. I didn't do the whole thing, so I have more to do today that will make me feel good. Oop, the girls are playing. The girls are running. Into the house. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So that will make me feel good. And I will, and I am going to work on my sweater because... I had to put something away in the room where my the other pieces of my sweater are drying and I have them laid out li like a sweater because I ma was matching, you know, arm pit to, you know, to make sure that they matched in their, in their um, blocked form that they matched the sides because I'm going to do the side seams. And so I got this almost sweater laid out. I'm like, come on, finish those sleeves because I'm going to love having that sweater. I don't know what's, what's stopping me. I shouldn't be so monogamous on it. I should find something else to do. Oh, and I got an email from Shelly Brander or whoever, the Knit Star lady, you know, that, that uh, LYS in Texas who does Knit Stars and stuff. Anyway, I'm on her on her um, mailing list and since I got up late Dennis brought me coffee I was sitting in my room looking at my phone and she sent me an email everybody an email about a, you know sort of like the ultimate shawl that 
can be everything. And it was an Andrea Mowry pattern, and I don't remember what it was, but it's a rectangular shawl with buttons on two sides, and you button it this way, and it's a poncho, and you button it that way, and do this, and it can be a cowl, and it can be a blanket, and if you if you put a put a belt on it, it can be a sweater, and you know, I will figure out what that is, and I'll put it in the down bar of this below. But it's an Andrea, Ma Andrea Mowry pattern, so it shouldn't be that hard to find. It's got stripes and diagonals and stuff. And uh, so they were selling a kit, and they were, you know, promoting that and selling a kit. And it was, I wasn't, you know, enticed by the colors that they were using. So obviously, and I have a million, not a million, I have a quite a stash. I can stash it myself. But I'm tempted to do that. It would qualify for our hug around the neck cow, uh, cow, uh, make along because you can make it into a cow, you can make it into a shawl. It's a shawl, a cow, a poncho, all of which qualify for our knit along or our make along. So I'm, I might be, you know, because it looked interesting. It had a few things going on, but you know, it was rectangular. It was, but I think it was diagonal but maybe not it might not have no actually I don't think it was a diagonal but it had it had some oh it probably had color work <laughs> might have color work or maybe it's mosaic I don't know things going on anyway it looked interesting and it looked like it would go with our make along and it I thought maybe it would be something I would be interested in making so maybe I should just cast on a few things so I have a few projects because there's no rush on the sweater. The problem with not finishing the sweater is I won't have any finished objects if I ever decide to do a podcast again. But you know what? I just have to live my crafting life. And it's Sunday again, and I'm having my craft night with my daughter. I mean, did this, did this week go fast, crazy fast, or what? So, anyway, I might cast on the aura if I can figure out colors for my mother-in-law. I'm going to uh, cast on this Andrea Mowry shawl. I never have two shawls on the go. When I was sitting in, on, in my bed drinking the coffee that Dennis made me, I have kind of a laddery thing that I have all my shawls on, and I have a lot of shawls. I have a lot of shawls. And I wear them in the winter, but they're kind of bunched up on this thing. And I thought, oh, you know, I should, I should get those out and steam them and fold them nicely and figure out a way to have my shawls not all just sort of bunched. Although, for the most part, it doesn't matter if you bunch them because they straighten out on your shoulders and whatever anyway. But I thought it would be good to take a look at what I had and maybe... <clears throat> You know, I've said this before, be more thoughtful about the, the next shawl I make myself, think about the colors, so that I fill gaps in my wardrobe. But the reality is, I have a brand new wardrobe, so I need to look at my sweaters and see what I'm missing for a shawl that goes with my sweaters that I've been knitting. I've been knitting new sweaters, now I need to think about colors that go with those if I don't have one. So Anyway, I've been thinking about shawls, but... Um, this this Andrea Mowry piece is a very big is a big piece. It's kind of a dramatic piece, and it you know it's not just oh let me throw this shawl on because it goes with my sweater. It's more of a it's really cold. I'm gonna figure out how I'm gonna wear this today to keep me warm, which I love. You know I mean I love my knits to keep me warm because I do get cold in the winter. Although I have noticed that my body is changing. Um, it used to be I couldn't wear sleeveless in the house in the summer because we keep our house at 72 with our air conditioning. And I was always cold. 72 was too chilly for me. Um, when I'm sitting and knitting and not active. I mean, it's fine if I'm doing something, but I don't spend very much time doing things in my house. I'm mostly sitting. And in the past, I would have, you know, so that's why I have short sleeve summer sweaters because I would get cold. Sleeve I could never wear sleeveless. And not only because I don't think my arms are very attractive, but also because I get chilly. And uh, I have not. I've been wearing sleeveless a lot this summer. And I have not needed a sweater. I think one night I felt chilly on my shoulders and I put my shawl on, but 
it's not happening nearly as often as it used to so my body's changing which is not a surprise it is a surprise to me that it's getting warmer you know I'm postmenopausal so anyway pretty interesting but I do get cold in the winter and so I'm picturing this as sort of a real cuddle up keep me warm kind of piece so I'm quite tempted by this I just saw it today so I will figure out which one it is and put it in the downpour in case you're interested um, but it will definitely go with our make along and I have until September 1st to make it part of the make along oh I haven't put pictures of my uh, L'envelope in the thread yet. Thank you everyone who's participating. It's so much fun to see what you guys are doing. I do appreciate it. That's another reason I need to do a podcast even if I haven't finished anything because I have prizes to give away for the um, craft from your stash. Knit along. I will be crafting from my stash. Actually, I'm not positive about that because I need to look at this pattern. I may not have the right Um, weight of yarn although I can hold things double and triple I have a lot of yarn never mind I'll figure it out but I'll craft from my stash I'll do that Andrea Mowry from my stash what you know I, whatever it'll be fine so it must be a thickish weight yarn because I think the person the the sample I saw was like you use size eight or nine needles and and it took like seven balls seven skeins of yarn four for the main color and one each of three other colors so this is so it must be thick yarn and it's a big cozy thing so we shall see <laughs> anyway I just saw it this morning and I'm all excited but it's good to be excited and I can have a bunch of starts if I want figure out what I want to make my mother-in-law's and start her aura thank you Marianne Marianne gave me that pattern so anyway so i'm feeling better as you can tell i'm talking fast trying not to make this too long but i'm feeling better even though i didn't really do any knitting yesterday but going to bed last night and going in that room and seeing my sweater all pinned out said you know what let me finish this because i'm gonna love this sweater i'm gonna love this sweater i love the yarn and i'm i love what i'm done with it and i just hope it fits me <laughs> i hope that math math right because uh, I really hope it fit me. So anyway, that's where I am. I'm in a good spot today. I'm in a good spot today. It's warm, it's muggy. I won't be spending too much time outside, especially since my knee's been clicking and twinging and I'm so disappointed in it. So disappointed in it. I have my sneakers on. I'm gonna get the ice. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep babying it. I'm babying it. I've been taking the dogs for a short walk, but only a short walk. It hasn't hurt at all. I'm not sure what I'll do today because I'm twinging. I may not help Dennis walk the dogs. We'll see. But I had, I took my Advil because I have cream in my coffee. And uh, we'll see what happens. Meanwhile, back at the ranch. It's a sunny day. I'll go clear some of my stuff, the rest of my stuff out of the living room and and that'll feel good. It just made me smile. I walked down and it just looked so much better. I let things go too far. I mean, Dennis even mentioned it. He only mentioned it after I started cleaning. He said, yes, you know, getting a little messy in here. I said, yeah, we gotta, I gotta do this. But he helped with his stuff not all me and it helps my mood and I know it does but you know it's a little bit of a downward spiral you feel funky so you don't want to do anything you don't do anything so you feel worse you know you know you've been there this isn't unique to me so I was so that made me smile when I came down and uh, I'm gonna forge ahead. I'm gonna forge ahead and go find that pattern for you. And uh, and me. And then maybe I'll hobble myself upstairs and take a look at my stash. 
see what I want to do and do something. And I have my craft night tonight, so that'll be nice with Christy. I talked to my sister and my brother, so now I just got to talk to Jason and everything will be good. I talked to my mom last this past week and uh, so that's all good stuff. So I will say farewell. I hope you all are well. I hope everyone is safe and being careful. Wear your mask. <sighs> Wear your mask. Stay safe. I'll talk to you tomorrow and stay sane.